What's up guys? My name's Kiri and I am playing The Curious Expedition. Um, this is kind of my follow-up episode to my other episode where I was trying to like show you guys the ropes through the first um, part of the map and could not quite get it done. Um, and so I was going to s just kind of get back to the point where we were at where I had cleared out this space and I had cleared out um, most of this space and I was in the middle of a fight when the game crashed. Um, but <laughs> I had stopped to rest at this little um, waterfall and spent the night there. And when I woke up, I apparently set fire to the forest because I'm lame like that, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of burning things down. And I figured I'd show you guys this fun little kind of feature of the game. Um, when you use flares, when you camp at night, uh, you can sometimes set fire to things. And so that's what happened. I stayed the night, and I set fire to everything, and now I'm burning the forest down. And you'll watch that as I run away, as quickly as my little feet will carry me, um, this this the whole thing will start spreading like wildfire. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna head down this way and try and get out of here. And you'll see it quickly just kind of starts taking over the area. And when it finally does burn out, all of this stuff is gonna be black. It's gonna be sad. Um, you know what? We could probably hop into a fight with this hyena and then I can show you that too. So um, this was where we broke off pretty much almost exactly yesterday except that we had a scout instead of an extra donkey. Um, this is what I got from uh, the village from recruiting at the village this time is I got a donkey which is kind of cool because then I get more spaces to carry things but downside the donkey is all but useless for fighting things and so we have our two hyenas. Um, we might have had three last night actually I can't remember. But, so this is really cool. Um, here I'm starting out, it's round one of combat, and I have two rolls. And so you'll get blank dice to start with, and these are all the dice you have available to you. And so you roll them. And then you get, uh, I definitely want to use these. And so we're going to use um, both the swords together, because you'll see as I pull them out, when I pull one out, I can attack. If I pull two out, I can double attack, which is doubly awesome. And so we're going to double attack the hyena. And then we're gonna re-roll these because I have no idea what these things do. If I bring them out here, they don't they don't do anything. And so I'm gonna pull them back. I wanna re-roll those dice because I have no idea what they do. So we're gonna roll and we're gonna get woohoo, two more swords. And this thing. Yep, which doesn't seem to do me any good. Um, so we're gonna double attack again. Boom! I use down. And I don't know what that's gonna do, but we're gonna see. She didn't do anything. <laughs> she just kind of got her butt kicked. Um, so let's hope she doesn't get hit again, because then her game will be over, and oh, that would be sad. Okay, so we're going to roll again. Um, awesome. We got one of those, and we got one of those. Yeah, I'm not getting any... I'm not getting any cool kind of stuff with that. So we're going to roll again. Let's see what we get. Oh, can we do... Yeah, super strong attack. Do that. Munch that guy's face off. Oh, there is a thing. There we go. Where you get like a block. Is it going to do it? No, I guess it's not. Maybe it has to be two different dice. Two different people like using the dice or something. Sometimes when you pull these out, you'll get... Um, you'll see I got a block there. But if I pull both of these out, I got something else. It was kind of like this cool like block attack. Um... And I guess maybe it has to be two different people because it's not showing up now. But I'm all done anyway because there's nothing left to kill. So we're going to just continue on. Uh, what they dropped? Two hyena pelts. Cool. These are worth five fame apiece when I leave. And then we got some raw meat, which is fine, but it's not really going to do me any good because, um, one, it disappears as soon as the expedition is over. And I need a cook to cook the meat. And so, I mean, I can take it in case I need to barter with it, maybe. Maybe it's be useful for bartering. Um, but yeah, basically did me no good. And our fire is clearly still raging, so we're just gonna run away from that as if we did not do that. <laughs> Folks, this is why it's important to um, put out your campfires. Because only you can prevent forest fires. Or so Smokey the Bear says. We hear a lot about Smokey the Bear in Colorado. Okay, so we found a camp. We're gonna explore the camp. We entered an old campsite. It must have been here for a long time. The few mortal remains were long rotted and overgrown by the voracious plant life. 
So we're gonna search. Apparently we're gonna take two days to search. Uh, and we found climbing gear! Yay! I think that means I can get over like actual mountains that are untraversable. Uh, so we're gonna take all of that. And I am now overburdened, as you can see by this little red box. That means I am carrying more things than I have people to carry them. And so, clearly the raw meat is worth nothing to me, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to discard that. So we can keep going. It does not allow you to move, by the way, until you've finished uh, dropping things. So we're going to go up here. Oh no! Oh, that guy's terrible! I don't want that guy! No! This guy! Look at all of those hearts! That guy, oh, oh, he's got a little teeny one down there. That's, that's nice. Give me like 50 of these, this little teeny tiny, teeny bitty heart on the bottom. Like, oh yeah, he's not so bad. It's, he's got like a donkey sized heart. Look at that. Look at that. You. No. I'm gonna flee. Nobody wants to fight you. We were attacked. We managed to escape. The group was scared and exhausted afterwards. And so this is gonna go down, which is unfortunate because I need that. Or maybe it, it's not gonna go, I don't know. Normally it goes down. Uh, ooh, let's explore the cenote. We explored the mysterious well. It was gigantic, with numerous ritualistic carvings on its walls. It was so deep that we could not catch a glimpse of the bottom. So this is pretty cool. We're going to peer into the well, and hopefully it'll give us some information about our surroundings. So look into the well. We waited until night fell and took another long, deep took another look deep into the watery abyss. I'm getting... So, I'm so tripping over my words tonight. Um, objects began to take shape. A golden temple enclosed within a thick jungle. Which... It's awesome because it reveals the, the golden temple, which is the ultimate goal in the game. The downside is, I didn't really need to know where that was. I could see the little corner kind of peeking out. So these are really useful when you have no idea where it's at. But kind of knew where it was at, and so it didn't really matter much. No, guy, go away! No, I don't want to fight you! I want you to go away now! Go away! Go away! I want to examine the shrine! We approached what appeared to be a holy shrine. The natives of the region had placed several sacrificial offerings on the outside. We found a stone portal which led inside. So, um, when I go in, uh, if I decide to take things, my standing with the locals is going to go down. And I'm already at six, and so they already kind of don't like me. Um, they probably think I'm annoying. I'm like, stealing their donkeys, and I'm taking all their temple stuff. And so we're just gonna go in and violate more temples, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, she seems to think this place is sacred, which is probably a pretty good best bet, you know? Like, I don't know why that's a thing that you had to think about. It was a truly mystical place. In the center of the room, an altar was flooded by light. So we're gonna investigate the altar. And yep, sure enough, this golden skull. This is just asking for trouble. Like, I feel like I'm gonna pick this up and something's gonna come rolling at me, or like, poisonous arrows are gonna shoot at me. Like, that's that's a thing they should maybe have in the game. Like, you got shot with poisonous arrows, you die, unfortunately. <laughs> we found a mysterious artifact perched precariously on top of the altar. So, yep, take it all. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shake wildly. We hurried outside as the shrine collapsed and huge mountains erupted from the ground. I'm pretty sure this was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was too, but I did it anyway. So, what now? I hope we can still get- oh good. Okay, they didn't block off completely. That would be- that would suck if the mountains like popped up all around me and then I couldn't leave because I didn't have dynamite. I wonder if that happens. I wonder if that's a thing that happens in this game. I really hope not. That would suck. So, um, we're overburdened again, and so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna drop. Uh, ooh, I like the little fishy thing. So this is cool, you get this water drain fetish, and this little fish guy, if you take him and see his little, like, these little water spots, if I click, then they are now traversable. They, they popped up little rocks in there, so that's kind of awesome. But we're gonna get the heck out of Dodge, because, oh right, I'm still overburdened. <laughs> what do I want to drop? I don't really want to drop anything. I like all the things. Can I just have another donkey? Or can this guy just carry more stuff? Like, that would be great. Let's promote him, by the way. Um, I haven't promoted him yet. So, he is a kleptomaniac. Sergeant Alexander Parnell is a kleptomaniac. Um, and so he cannot resist the constant urge to steal objects. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that 
the natives will hate me if I bring him into camp and he steals all their stuff. And then now we've buffed him, and so now he has um, he gains sanity from fights. Uh, so, yay! Good job, guy. Way to be useful-ish. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna. All oh, right, I'm still overburdened. Oh, I don't want to drop anything. I like all my things. Okay, you know what? We're getting rid of the ammo. Maybe. Wait, hang on. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. I was kidding. There we go. Um, I guess we're gonna get rid of the climbing gear. Climbing gear is cool, but I haven't you. Uh, uh. Nope. Nope. We're getting rid of the ammo. Yep. That's what we're doing. Now we're running like hell. Get out of there. Go, 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 go! Woohoo! Oh, do I want to go to the other t I don't have room. I don't have room to go to the other temple. Nor do I have... Sanity. <laughs> I'm losing my mind a bit. So we're going to explore the Golden Temple. Um, to leave the map, you need to find this. So to complete your exploration, it does not matter how much of the map you clear. All that matters is that you get to the pyramid. And so um, we've done that. And we have a decent amount of loot to take back. So this should be quite a bit of fame. Um, plus, you get fame for finding the Golden Pyramid. And so, it says, The majestic Golden Pyramid rose above the jungle. The efforts of our expedition had finally paid off. Yay! So now we're going to, um, you can either choose to enter or leave. Uh, say if you decided, like, oh, this is great, I love the temple. I really want to go explore some more shrines and loot some more things and piss off some more natives. You can totally do that. Um, but we're not going to do that because we're going to go crazy if we do. And we might start eating donkeys or people or dogs, and that would be unfortunate. Um... After weeks of traveling, Euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would be forever remembered. 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 Woo! So now we get to choose new perks. Woohoo! And so the perks we have available to us are heavy character. I can gain additional two additional inventory slots. That's hot. That's way hot. Um, Multi-talented allows one to choose between four perks as opposed to three. I have not... Uh, I haven't chosen this one ever yet, and I've played a code six, six or seven characters now, uh, just kind of digging around the game. I haven't used this yet because I found out once you complete your set, your five expeditions, your character does not keep the perks that you've gained. Um, and so while this is really great to take like right now at the very start, uh, I've normally gotten this like way near the end and then it doesn't mean anything because I'm at the end. So uh, our last one is Desert Explorer and it reduces the movement costs in deserts and that's kind of cool. I love everything that reduces movement costs, especially with Ada because Ada lacks sanity. She's a little crazy and uh, she doesn't have any people to help her gain it easily. Like he only helps if you do battle. That's kind of, it's 50-50. It's meh. So, uh, oh, it's almost always good with Ada to take movement things, but I haven't done, you know what? What the heck? Let's do multi-talented. It's probably the most useless one out there. I don't really need a choice between four. You know what? No. We're going to do additional carrying slots, because when she starts running out of sanity, they start eating the animals, and so <laughs> I'm gonna lose back animals. <laughs> okay, so yay! Success! Woohoo! We did it! Uh, golden Pyramid! I get 120 fame for that. I get, uh, I found one golden statue, so I get 30 fame for that. I found two hyena pelts, I get 10 fame for that. I found a golden skull, so that gives me 30, and then four butterflies, which gives me eight, and then subtract the number of days I was out, which was 74, and it gives me a new total of fame of 124. And so, when we do our next adventure, um, when we're on the second one, the second expedition, I will, uh, and I complete it, I will get another lineup here that will tell me the fame I started off with, which will be minus whatever supplies I buy. Um, and so I'll have, you know, say like 80 fame plus all of the things I found minus the days that I was out there. And so it is very important to find the pyramid quickly. At the same time, you want to get as much loot as possible between you and that pyramid um, to be able to, to get uh, fame so you can use it to buy things. And so, woohoo, we're going to finish the expedition. And that was it. Our next destination is going to be the Sad Drylands, a harsh and desolate area into which only experienced explorers should venture. Um, 
but we're gonna end right here because what I really want to do is just kind of show you the the combat pieces and kind of like how you complete a map and things like that that I was not able to show you last time because the game blew up on me um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, and throw me a like on the video if you enjoyed watching or subscribe to my channel um, this has been the curious expedition with Kiri uh, thanks so much guys talk to you later